What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca. Welcome back to our third part on our series on building my game that I've been envisioning for years with Game Builder Garage on the Nintendo Switch. In our last episode, we talked about one of the problems that we had to troubleshoot, how we couldn't have as many words that we would like in one stage, in one game. But Julie was able to figure out that he could break the game into three stages within one game. And he could have a total of four words, four correct and four incorrect per stage, so that we could have a total of 12 words that we could ultimately test. So for today's video, I'm so excited because we're finally going to be sharing all of the amazing artwork that Julie has done for this game. I don't want to give away what he's created. Instead, I'm just going to let him give it away himself. Take it away, Julie. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? I just finished uh, implementing three reactions you will have. Those drawings are just placeholder drawings. The, there will be your amazing 16-bit sprite that I try to make the best that I can. So the green one is neutral, nothing is happening. The blue one is when you get, when you will be happy and the red one is when you will be angry. So let's try this out. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so basically the skeleton of the game <clears throat> is basically almost 100% complete. What I need to do now is do some modeling to do a little of a, a little bit of a background because I want to make a sort of a classroom. And yes, then I want uh, to make all the textures to look at, to make it look very very pretty and of course I have to draw uh, the texture of you, Bill here. And let's see how this how how this will come how this will come out. See, my English is not very good, so so maybe I will need this game as well. Some spelling will be good also for me. But that's just the first half of it. Earlier today, he even showed me the background that he created. Check this out. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? Look, our game finally has a little more of an artistic interface now. So, what do we have here? I'll show you right away. We have implemented a Nintendo Labo VR goggle set. This one. It has even textures on each side, over here. We have a desk with textures. We have a blackboard, there's also Mr. Vaca written on it. And a little scribble. How is this game, this game called in English? Here in Italy it's called Tris Tic Tac Toe in Germany. I don't know what the, the English name is, but it's there just for decoration. Yes, we have a blue background that turns red when you when you shoot the, the wrong answer. And of course we have Bill Vaca himself over here. When he is shocked because you choose the wrong answer. When he is pretty neutral because nothing is happening. And when he's happy because you got the right answer. And then we have the happy mask salesman from The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. <laughs> Which actually is, is just a reskin just with orange hair and some more teeth. I, I, I don't use this texture because I, want, I, I just want to make it because it looks so similar that I, it made myself laugh. And I thought, hey. If I made orange hairs, then oh my god, it's the, the happy mess salesman from Zelda. But it's not used, it's a little easter egg if someone goes here and sees a little bit of the backstage of the game. Yeah, and then the counter here, that counts up the numbers. Now the counter has a Nintendo Labo cardboard texture, so it looks like cardboard. And let's see again how it looks. Oh yes, and um, the words are now written on paper. Here it is. Oh, you also have a little sponge. Yeah. Ooh, wrong word. Ooh, turns red. <laughs> Maybe it's a little too creepy or is it okay? Let me know. I believe it's already charming. Let's hear a little bit of the music. 
sound effects. You also get a little bit of rumble feedback. Woo! Level number two is still not complete. Because there is nothing actually. I will delete level number two. I will just take the first one, copy paste it two times and then change the speed, change the lighting change the words that you already sended me in a very very well organized list and then yes it won't it won't take very long and i believe that in two or three days our game will be 100 percent complete theory in theory it could be complete even today but i don't know i i will see if i can add even some more details even some more little things to make the game look even better we Seriously, Julie, words cannot describe how incredible you are and the amazing work that you are doing helping me build this game. I cannot thank you enough. So please, friends, family, if you can, support Julie. In the description box below, you'll see his Instagram and his YouTube channel. You'll see he's in the pinned comment. So please hit that subscribe button to not just myself, but for him as well. We want to get him some eyes on him because he's really, really doing some amazing work. Thank you again, everyone. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button notification bell because it helps out the channel a ton. Most importantly, don't forget to work hard and play hard. And I'll catch y'all next time.